Hello, everybody. It's Phil Jacobus. It's October 21st. I'm here at my office in New York City. I've been taking a few days off to be with my mother, so I haven't had any interviews. And today I'm going to give you some predictions I have about the future and some comments. Uh, first of all, and I'm very interested in anyone's opinion uh, as to what they think of the future. First of all, uh, we see that uh, COVID around the world is growing. It's a serious problem. You know, it's my prediction that things aren't going to be back to normal until uh, approximately a year from now and possibly longer. I don't know what you think, but I'd be interested in your opinion. Uh, uh, a lot of hospitals have an abundance of PPE that they've held on to. Uh, so probably there won't be a PPE shortage for hospitals. Uh, however, I believe that people will begin to hoard cleaning products and that sort of thing, because I think probably in the fall things are going to get worse before they get better. Uh, a lot of people are talking about whether or not we should have any sort of government stimulus. Uh, some people feel that it's wrong to pay people uh, not to work uh, and that people are opting to not work rather than work and others feel that there's a lot of people who can't make ends meet, they can't pay their bills, they can't pay their health insurance. Uh, I support, uh, I'm in favor of helping people who need help, uh, but not paying people to not work if they can work. What's your view? Um, uh, there's also people who feel that investing money into uh, the economy helps to stimulate the economy and that right now with interest rates at an all time low that borrowing money to help bring our economy back uh, is a good idea. I heard one fellow say that if interest rates are lower, then you can afford to buy a bigger house and interest rates, I think we'll all agree are at an all time low. Uh, you know, tech stocks are doing really well. Uh, I have a feeling that tech stocks are going to uh, suffer. Uh, then, of course, we have the election. Uh, it's very interesting, going to be very interesting to see what happens in the election. Uh, tell me uh, if you like what's who you would like to see when and why. Um, I do advise you to stock up on hand sanitizer and cleaning solutions and that sort of thing because I predict there's going to be a shortage. Now, uh, as I mentioned, I was home with my mother, uh, actually Barbara's my wife's mother. And uh, just to share with you something, I'm going to do a quick share of my screen and uh, I will show you a picture of my mother-in-law. There she is, 103 years old and out walking around in the country. Imagine that uh, she was born before women could vote. Uh, so there you go, everybody. Um, I hope to have some more interesting interviews for you next week, but this is my report for this week. If you haven't registered, if you, if you can, please vote, whether you vote for a uh, Democrat or Republican or Independent Express, it's your opportunity to influence what's going on in the world. So I encourage you to vote. Thank you.